Okay, folks, so in this video, we're going to be beginning the topic of matrices. Okay. And because we've seen Gaussian elimination, we have seen what a matrix can look like, but we're going to, that was a very specific case. We're going to look at more general cases. So if a matrix Actually, rather than try to make that better. So, if a matrix Ix has m rows, okay, m being just a number, and n columns, then the order. basically means or size, okay, so the size of the matrix, the order of the matrix, of the matrix, is said to be m times n, okay, so how do we determine the size of a matrix, it's the amount of rows it has by the amount of columns it has, an n by n matrix. Okay, so if I give you the example uh, 1, 2, minus 3, 4, 6, 1, then this is what's known as a 2 by 3 matrix. Okay, if it's the two rows and three columns. Okay, so that's a 2 by 3 matrix. Okay, so when we have matrices of the same order, so matrices of the same order, which means size, so matrices of the same order can be added or subtracted. By adding slash subtracting So by adding slash subtracting the corresponding entries, okay, so we just look at the same entries and we can either add or subtract depending if we want to add or subtract the two matrices. Okay, also any matrix. can be multiplied by a real number by multiplying by multiplying each entry by that real number. Okay, so there's two sort of important things that we're going to look at. So matrices of the same order can be either subtracted by just adding or subtracting the corresponding entries with each other. And if you want to multiply a matrix by a real number, you multiply each entry by that real number. Okay, it's as it's, it's straightforward as it sounds. Okay, what this is known as Okay, this last one about the multiplying, this is known as known as scalar multiplication. So scalar multiplication. Okay. 
There is such a thing as matrix multiplication, which is what we're going to look at in the next video, but that is a different thing, okay? Scale multiplication is when you multiply it just by a real number, okay? You're scaling it up, basically, okay? Look at a couple of examples, okay? So we're going to have example one. Uh, we're going to let the following matrices, so we're going to have matrix A be known as 3, 2, negative 3, and 1. B is going to be negative 2, 1, 0, and 6. And C is going to be the matrix 2, negative 4, negative 1, and 0. And okay, so that's going to be our three matrices for these questions here. Okay, so the first question we're going to look at, we're going to find A plus B. Okay, we're going to work out what A plus B would be here. Okay, now all these matrices are all the same size, okay, and they're actually all two by two matrices, okay, so that's two by two, so is that, and so is that there, okay, so they're all the same size, so we can add, subtract with all these matrices if we want, so A plus B, so that's going to be 3, 2, negative 3, 1, that's from matrix A, and we're going to add matrix B, that's going to be negative 2, 1, 0, 6, and that's going to create a matrix of the same size. And what we do is we just add the corresponding entries. Okay, so the first entry in both was well, that's three and uh, negative two. So three plus negative two, that would give me one. Okay. Look at the second entry on the first row for each. So two plus one would give me three, and we would have negative three in the bottom corner and seven there. Okay. So that's what a plus b would give me. We're all here with that. Pretty straightforward? Yeah. Okay. We're we'll now look at the same question. So we'll now look at, okay, let's find B minus C. So that's going to be the B matrix, which is negative 2, 1, 0, 6. We're going to subtract off 2, negative 4, negative 1, 0. Okay, if we're taking four negatives, this should also be quite straightforward. So negative 2 taken with 2, that will be my first entry, that will be negative 4. Second entry will be five. Second entry will be, sorry, first entry in the second row will be a one. Zero take away negative one's one. And six take away zero gives me six. Okay, so that's how our subtraction works as well. Just sub uh, subtracting the entries. We'll give you that one as well. Okay. Right, let's now put into play the scale multiplication with this next and this last one we're going to look at just now. So we're going to find. Three lots of A plus four lots of C. Okay, we're going to find three lots of A plus four lots of C. So that's going to be three lots of the A matrix. The A matrix was three to negative three and one. We're going to add four lots of the C matrix, which is two minus four, negative one, and zero. Okay, now at this point here, before we add, it's probably easier to multiply each entry by the scalar out front. Okay, so we just multiply every entry in this first part here by 3, so that's going to give me 9, 6, minus 9, and 3. I'm going to add 4 lots of this, multiply by 4 first, that's going to give me 8, minus 16, minus 4, and 0. Okay, right, let's add our entries now. So 9 and 8 is 17, 6 and negative 16 is negative 10, minus 9 and negative 4 is minus 13, should be a 10 there, sorry, and 3 and 0 is 3. And that's my final answer there. We're okay with that one there, so we just have to multiply each entry first before we could add them there. Okay, any questions?